Good morning. My name is Dominique Retes. I'm here with Natalie Tomlin as well as Doug Baker. I'll be asking them a few questions in regards to their EMU writing experiences here in college as well as prior to EMU. Are you a student at EMU? I am not. I'm a professor. A professor? Are you a student at EMU? I'm a graduate student. Cool. What was your major? English. English? When I was uh, in college. Yes. Um, English major. Cool. Do you like to write? Love it. Love it? Yes. yes. I write every day. Cool. Where would you say it's easier for you to write? In your home? In a quiet area? Coffee shop? Probably a more um, noisy area. I like going to places where there's action happening so I can soak it in. But I, can, I also like writing at home, so it depends. Okay. Uh, what would you say would be some inspirations for your writings? My writing? Um, well, depends on the type of writing, but um, certainly some experiences in my life and also projects that I'm working on, things that I want to understand more about. Usually I'm most interested in things that I don't really understand that I'm trying to understand. Cool. Well, what was one of the easiest things you would say you have written? Probably about um, recently, my grandfather's funeral, I, when I went home, it just kind of flowed out of me. What I had seen at the funeral, it just, just came out, so. Cool. And what was one of the most difficult writings you've ever written? Uh, I've been working on this one project for a couple of years, and we worked very hard on it, and then it, we just, it just kind of failed. It didn't really feel like it's not going to get done, but it did get done for the goal we had, so we're having to rethink about it, and uh, that was pretty difficult. Who, t who normally reads what you write? Probably normally teachers, but I also, my husband reads my writing, and then I used to post my writing online, um, mm -hmm. on my online blog, so just random people probably would go and read it, so... Does their feedback affect your writing? Yeah, for sure. I also share my writing with my students, too, and I'm kind of sensitive, so um, when they say things, that it really, I really take it to heart what they say about my writing. If it's positive, I get really happy, and if it's negative, I get kind of down on myself, so. And Doug, uh, who typically reads what you write? Um, I do. <laughs> I'm the first. <laughs> I read a lot of what I write, and um, I have a, a couple people I write with, and um, it's mainly it. Okay. Uh, and, you know, if it gets submitted somewhere, and whoever might read that particular journal or something. Okay. Does their your feedback as well as those that read it does it affect your writing? Oh yeah, yeah. And I think that's a crucial part because I. If I'm writing about something I'm not really understanding yet, I'm writing to understand it better. And when I feel like I have it and I've explained it or described it, then I need to show it to someone else and uh, or look at it a couple of days later. And when I do that or when I get feedback, then I see some parts that I that are still needing more explanation or description. So yeah, it's vital. Okay. Thank you guys both. Natalie, as well as Doug for your time. You. I am Dominique Retest signing off.